What is up guys, Johnny here. I'm back with more Call of Duty Mobile. In today's video, what is the release date of Call of Duty Mobile? When is it going to be launched globally? We will look at all the information we have in today's video. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more Call of Duty news, gameplay and guides. Let's go. Now, first of all, why am I able to play if it's not released yet? Well, that's a question I get a lot. The game is being released. I, as I'm recording this video, it is in soft launch. The beta is over. It's been in beta twice early this summer. It's been once in Australia and once in India for about a week or two, if I remember correctly. It's been in closed beta. And even then, players from outside India and outside Australia were able to play using uh, different accounts, uh, regional accounts, and using VPNs to connect to servers from the selected countries. But after the beta closed a few weeks later, it released in soft launch in Canada and Australia. Now, if you guys want to play Call of Duty Mobile before it's released in your country, check my video in the description. I made a video two days ago with everything you need to do step by step on iOS and Android, how to download the game and play the game in your country. Now, it's been two weeks already since the start of the soft launch. And since then, it's been totally dead. No Call of Duty Mobile news. It's all modern warfare. Now, this is the official Activision website. And if you go in the news, there's a blog and they post news almost every day. And it's been all modern warfare, multiplayer premiere, dark edition reveal, modern warfare, multiplayer premiere, countdown. It's all modern warfare news for the past two weeks. Nothing on Call of Duty Mobile. Now the last news was 17th of July and it was an interview on the day of the soft launch. What it said is the first big scale launch started in Canada and Australia and what it said is additional territories coming online later. When it was initially announced they said summer of 2019 Call of Duty Mobile would launch globally. So we're still in summer of 2019. And during the whole interview, there was no more news about a possible date of global release. However, at the end of the article, they mentioned that you can now pre-register for the game for a possibility to have in-game rewards on the day of the release and also be the first to have some news about the release. So I will put the link in the description for you guys. If you're not pre-registered yet, it's your chance to pre-register now for a chance at good rewards. Now the official Activision Twitter is the same story. No Call of Duty Mobile news for the past two weeks. Same freaking thing, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Dark Edition reveal, uh, multiplayer reveal, trailer reveal, and on and on for two weeks until you get to July 17 or July 18. And that was it, July 18, soft launch in Canada and Australia, and then nothing else. Now on the official pre-registration website, if you scroll to the bottom of the first page, there's a bunch of frequently asked questions. And the last one is, when is the launch date of the game? And if you click on that, the answer is, stay tuned. We will announce more information in the coming months. So I don't believe we are months away from a global release. It's impossible. Uh, the game is already good to go. And it seemed to be pretty stable right now. We've been playing without much bugs. The server seemed pretty stable. But there is something else, guys. Even though they don't show much on the official social medias or website, in the game, we have maybe a possible clue of when we would have the global release of the game. When they release the game, they announce in the game and on the social medias that there will be no more stats reset. It is the launch. It is no longer the beta. And we can now buy card points in the game with real money. If you click on the store, you can spend money in the game now. In beta, you could not do that. So of course, if you spend money, you don't want the game to reset and you lose all your progress. Now coming with that, being able to purchase stuff with real money, 
they made available our first pre-season one battle pass in premium battle pass now there's the big clue guys when i bought the battle pass it was two weeks ago and it had i think 60 days for the pre-season one and you would think that at the end of the 60 days period would be the end of pre-season one will they go straight to seasons or will they go with a pre-season two and then release in other countries and then season one with a full global launch but what i think for real because it's impossible that we're months away it wouldn't make sense i'm thinking personally guys that at the end of pre-season one in 42 days as i'm recording this i think it would be the global launch and it will go global so that would make sense because why would they release in the middle of a preseason? Like if people start the game with 10 days remaining and they buy a battle pass, there's no way they can finish everything in 10 days. It wouldn't make much sense. So to me, it would make more sense that they wait till the end of the preseason to go global. So as I'm recording this, 42 days from now would be September 14, 2019. I think it would make a lot of sense a lot of big games are released in september and november usually and it would launch with the end of preseason one and then whatever they decide to do will we have a preseason two or will we go straight to seasons at the end of preseason one we will see in 42 days i guess but for now that's all we have guys it's an in-game clue in-game date would launch in september 14 but you can search on Google, you can watch videos on YouTube. There's a bunch of articles, there's a bunch of videos about release date of Call of Duty Mobile, but nobody has an official date yet. If there is going to be an official date, an official statement, I guess it would be on the official social media. So check the Twitter account for Activision, check the Call of Duty official blog. That's all we have for now, guys. So that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Call of Duty mobile news, gameplay, and guides. I will be back soon. Till then, watch my other videos. Take care. Team Deathmatch on Hijack. This one also is... Team Deathmatch. Let's go. But yeah, when you get a real team, uh, it can be very frustrating. When you... Like, some people are really good at Call of Duty, you know? Come on. It's too close. Fight harder. Uh. uh what do you mean random? Like see these mines there? They're everywhere. We tied for the lead. It's freaking cancer of this game, man. Come on. There's a guy up there, right? Oh, come on. Up by five, don't give up, boys. In mind, dude. Oh, this is so uncool man it was the guy up there right see they put this in our spawn you can shoot them apparently but you couldn't Object 
objective almost complete. Keep it up. All right, ten more. Up by three only, man. They're everywhere, man. We won. Good job, boys. I don't know who got a big um, kill streak at the end, but good job. Because it was not my best game again. It's a teamwork, man. Some someone needs to pick it up. Well, I have second place. Thought I had a bad game, but it was not bad.